Hello again, uh, this is John Craven again, uh, and I want to talk to you about a problem set that I've been sort of struggling to uh, come to grips with, and uh, I haven't quite licked it, but uh, yeah, I'm almost there, and I'd like to share some of the insights I've gained in uh, researching it, and that is a problem of recursion. So any uh, problem that might be solved with the for loop could, in theory, be solved with a recursive function. And what is a recursive function? Well, a recursive function is a function that at some point in its logic calls itself. So it basically starts the function over, given a certain condition. And, like you might be realizing, this is just like um, a logic loop. You know, either uh, a while loop, or a for loop, or a for each loop. Uh, you take your pick. Oh, um, but a, a recursive function can replace this. And what's nice about using a recursive function is you can make the recursion, the, the loop reset, dependent on more than one variable. So you can set multiple conditions where the loop might reset. And it also solves the problem of not knowing how many steps you're going to need. So that is recursion. And it is a very useful tool to have in your set. Now, like I said, I haven't quite licked it. I haven't quite wrapped my entire head around it. But I'm hoping to soon. <laughs> And uh, I will be sure to make a follow-up video letting you know um, when I do. All right.